The movie begins with a story about the great tree in the Amazon, which has excellent healing power. The petals of that tree are called Tears of Moon. Even one petal of the tree can heal any illness. Many people tried to reach the Tears of Moon, but no one succeeded. One man named Don Lope de Aguirre reached closer, but the jungle killed him. But actually, he was not killed. In an injured state, he was found by the guardians of the tree. He demanded arrowhead from them, necessary to see Tears of Moon. They refused, and Aguirre started a fight. But the jungle entangled him, and he disappeared afterward. McGregor tells the story about the Tears of Moon in front of the honorable scholars who possess the arrowhead right now. He shows the carefully drawn map of the Amazon, and points at Lagrimas de Cristal, where they have the highest possibility of finding the Tears of Moon, using the sacred arrowhead. As McGregor finishes his speech, Sir James bluntly refuses to give the arrowhead, and everybody laughs at him. But as his sister Lily instructed, he requested that the scholars hear him out for a few more minutes. In the meantime, Lily silently gets up from her seat and begins walking towards the inner area after seeing the map of the building drawn in her hand. A man thinks she is a secretary and directs her towards the library. She finally sneaks inside, but a man walks in before she opens the door lock. She puts the chloroform handkerchief on the nose of the man, and he falls unconscious. After entering the room, she blends in by wearing the dress of a statue. She carefully reaches for the box having Arrowhead and opens it. At the same time, a man walks in with Sir James, who wants Arrowhead. The man is Prince Joachim, and he gets so offended to see the empty box. Suddenly, he sees a lady running and asks Sir James to follow her. But Lily fights her way out through the window and hangs herself from the ladder. Luckily McGregor, coming out of the building, sees her and stops a bus. She jumps in, and they escape with Arrowhead. On the other hand, Prince Joachim gets so offended when Sir James discloses his name to everyone. He beats everyone, and asks Sir James about Lily. Lily packs the things she needs to get ready to leave for Amazon. McGregor is a delicate man, but he does not want his sister to go alone in a dangerous jungle like the Amazon. At the same time, Skipper Frank takes his steamer full of passengers to show them the wonders of the Amazon. He dramatically explains that every tree and petal in the jungle can be a cannibal. He leads the skeletons of the explorers hanging from the trees. Suddenly, a few native tribals appear, and all the passengers get frightened. They pay Frank extra to return as soon as he can. They are con men installed by Frank himself to earn extra bucks from passengers. On the other hand, Lily and McGregor reach Porto Velho, Brazil, where they would take the steamer to reach the jungle. But they don't know that since Prince Joachim sent his men to get the arrowhead from Lily, they are discreetly following her. After reaching Porto Velho, Frank says goodbye to the passengers, and Mr. Nilo takes all the money he earns from his trip. Frank has to pay his debt. In addition to that, he locks his boat and gets the key. He warns Frank to return the money in a week, or he will confiscate his boat too. Frank silently goes to Nilo's room to get his keys back. But he could not open the box. At the same time, Lily comes searching for Nilo. She was told he was the only one to take her to Amazon at her destination. She thinks Frank is Nilo, and she helps him get the boat's key by opening the box with a pin. When he hears that Lily wants to go to De Cristal, he warns her about the dangers. At last, he agrees to take her there for a hefty price. At the same time, McGregor brings Nilo, and Lily starts negotiating prices with him. Suddenly Frank sees the arrowhead in Lily's neck. He blows a whistle to call his leopard and tries to convince Lily that he is the only one capable of fighting the dangers in the jungle. At the same time, Leopard jumps in, and Frank fights with him. He tricks him out of the window. Everyone appreciates his bravery, and Lily is also so impressed. She makes a deal to travel with Frank. Later, Frank thanked his leopard Proxima for helping him close the deal with Lily. After a while, Lily and McGregor come into the boat to leave immediately. Frank begins throwing McGregor's extra luggage in the water, and does not notice that Prince's men trapped Lily in the bird's cage. They start the boat anyway. Lily opens the cage with a pin, and hits those men to make her way towards the ship. Frank arrives there to show her the way. She does not jump in the water, but runs towards the other side, and jumps in the boat by sliding through a rope. Prince wants Arrowhead in all conditions, as he knows they can win the war if they have Tears of Moon. He follows Lily's ship with his submarine. Frank finds a submarine following them, and he puts the fuel in the ship's engine. He immediately speeds the boat to save themselves from the torpedo approaching them. But the submarine destroys Nilo's harbor. They finally get into the river away from Nilo and Prince. McGregor initially gets so well dressed, but eventually, he gets annoyed by the blazing heat. Suddenly, Lily saw a few dolphins jumping in the sea. Frank warns her not to see them clearly in the eyes, or she will have nightmares for the rest of her life. She sees them in the eye. Lily makes a video of the jungle's beauty. Frank also tries the camera and turns the ship on the way Lily asked him to. On the other hand, 
Prince decides to find Aguirre to reach Tears of Moon. He doesn't care that he is cursed. Frank catches fresh piranha for dinner. For the flavor, Frank puts blood on it. McGregor could not eat it and went to bed. Proxima quietly moves into his cabin as he puts on his face cream. While Frank and Lily talk to each other, McGregor suddenly comes there, running, frightened of Proxima. Lily gets so angry to know that it's his pet, and he lied when he pretended to save people from it. On the other hand, the prince finds Aguirre and throws the river water on him to free him from the curse of the jungle. At the same time, Prince detonates the rocks that start the river. Lily sees a nightmare of serpents and wakes up so terrified. Frank tells her they have to pass through a harsh river area. He secretly signals Proxima to steal the arrowhead from Lily. Suddenly, they get to the edge of the river. Frank hardly steers his boat away and puts it on the right track. Both Lily and McGregor start vomiting, while Proxima does not steal Arrowhead either because during the jerks, a vine bottle fell on the floor, and Proxima licked it and got drunk. After a while, they stop the boat. Frank and McGregor step on the land, and McGregor tells him that he will always be beside his sister. When he told his relatives he was uninterested in girls, only Lily stood beside him. Lily takes advantage of the time and searches Frank's cabin. She finds that he also has the maps to search Tears of Moon. Frank confesses that he tried for a long time, but now, he has given up. Lily reminds him that this time, they have an arrowhead so they can be successful. Suddenly, a few tribal people threw arrows into the necks of three of them, and they fell unconscious. Tribal people take them to the leader. Frank speaks their language and tells them the leader wants them to give the arrowhead and go away. Lily does not agree to any condition and opens her tied hands. As she attacks them by snatching a spear, they start laughing. These people are actors who act on Frank's command. Lily gets so angry that Frank lies about everything and punches him. That night, Frank asks McGregor if Lily will forgive him, but he assures her that she will never forgive him after these lies. A lady there reads Arrowhead's language and knows they will find the tree where the moon sinks. Lily argues that she no longer trusts Frank and pays the rest of the money. She tells him that she will not travel with him anymore. McGregor colors his face with permanent dye, unknowingly. On the other hand, Aguirre's dead soldiers have started waking up. Suddenly, Aguirre comes before Lily and asks to give him an arrowhead. She refuses, and the branches entangle her. She removes the branches and burns a few of Aguirre's undead soldiers. Frank fights with Aguirre, grabs his snacks, and attacks him. But he inserts the sword into him. Frank falls down the river. Lily begins crying at Frank's death. A tribal woman asks Lily to disperse in the jungle with an arrowhead. Aguirre's soldiers want to reach the Tears of Moon to get rid of the curse. They want to get their souls back. Aguirre suggests sending the bees flying over their bodies towards the prince. He will find Lily for them, and they will get the arrowhead. On the other hand, while walking in the jungle, Lily finds Frank alive. She gets so happy, but surprisingly, the sword in his body is not bleeding. Frank finally reveals that he is 400 years old. The truth is, he can't die due to the curse, so she must help him remove the sword from his body. She puts her foot on his chest and removes the sword. McGregor gets unconscious to see this. Lily wakes him up and appreciates that he has done much for her. Besides, he has broken his leg. She hugs him and promises that she will return soon. Prince sees from the glass that a few bees are trying to get into the submarine. He orders them to open the doors. The bees enter and sit on the specific areas of the map, telling them where they should go. With a little struggle, Prince understands where the bees want him to go and starts moving there. Lily wants to know why Frank can't die. So, he begins to say that his name is Francisco, and his father was in Aguirre's father's army. After his death, Aguirre's father brought him up like his son. They were like brothers. One day, Aguirre's daughter fell so ill that there was no way to save her. He heard about the Tears of Moon and started his journey to get them for his daughter. During their journey, many men got sick and died. One day, they fell ill too, and a tribal chief took them and saved their lives with Tears of Moon. They were happy to be cured, but Aguirre became impatient. So he demanded Arrowheed from the chief to get Tears of Moon. He refused, and Aguirre attacked him. A fight began, but chief inflicted a curse on all of them before he died. That is why he, Aguirre, and his army cannot escape the river. That day, Frank did not take Aguirre's side in his madness. That is why he became an enemy. They fought countless times afterward until one day, he closed Aguirre and his men in a cave. Later, Frank built a boat and made the whole town. He does not know who freed them. On the other hand, a tribal woman gets McGregor in the boat to reach the tree. Suddenly, Prince reached there. The woman jumps in the water while Prince arrests McGregor. He warns McGregor that he will kill many people by pressing one button if he does not tell them where his sister is. While Frank teaches Lily about the boat, Lily wants to know what Frank would do if the curse were lifted. He shares that he has lived every moment a thousand times, so he wants to rest in peace now. 
She wants him to live and spend his new life with her. Prince asks McGregor where Lily is and starts the journey in that direction. Lily and Frank finally reach where, according to the map, they can find the tree. Frank sees, by jumping in the water, that there is a lever to be pulled. Afraid of swimming, Lily gets the courage to jump in the water. She presses a stone near the lever, and it encloses her in the cage. After a short period, Frank puts the air in her mouth to keep her breathing. At the same time, Lily keeps trying to open the lever. She finally opens it, but Frank disappears as Piranha attacks him. Lily gets unconscious in the water. But after pressing the lever, the water level comes down. Frank brings her to consciousness. They get so happy that they have finally reached where the Tears of Moon is. Lily tries to convince Frank that he should live with her in London after lifting the curse. Suddenly, the submarine emerges from the sea. Prince arrests all of them and asks them to guide him to the tree. He demands Arrowhead and begins moving on the ship, where the moonlight falls on the tree. Prince gets so disappointed to see that the tree is dead. But he knows that Lily and Frank must know some way to keep it alive. Frank asks Prince to give him one petal if he guides, as he wants to lift his curse. Prince agrees. As they reached the cave, Frank could not read what was on its walls. Lily comes to help in exchange for a promise that she will get a petal too. Prince tells her they can decide who will get the one petal, as he will give only one. They read the writing and broke the arrowhead into two pieces. A petal emerges, which they put on the wall. It lights up the whole tree as it blooms with flowers. Suddenly, Lily puts a bullet in Frank, and he pretends to die. He falls, and attacks the prince's men guarding McGregor. While Lily quickly tries to get the petal before the moon goes away. The moon starts getting away, and the tree dries again. She could only get one petal. Prince tells her to give the petal, but she throws it down. Frank catches it, while Aguirre and his men attack them too. To fight with Aguirre, Frank drives the boat, leaving Proxima and McGregor behind. While McGregor meets Lily, the prince attacks them again. Hence, for the first time, McGregor punches him several times. Suddenly, a stone falls on him, and he dies. While Aguirre asks Frank to give him the petal, he shows his empty cloth, as he has already passed the petal to McGregor. The tree branches entangle Frank, Aguirre, and his men. They get petrified. Lily comes there and cries to see Frank wrapped in branches like a stone. She puts the tears of moon in his mouth, and it disappears. But he does not show any sign of life. She turns to go away. But Proxima does not go with them. Suddenly she hears the roar of Proxima and returns. She gets so happy to see Frank alive. McGregor returns, and tells the society that her sister Lily, now a professor at Cambridge, refused to join the society. While the whole story about the Tears of Moon is true, Lily teaches Frank how to drive a motor car, and they lived happily ever after. The movie ends here.